Why is there so much division all over the world right now? And why is it being propagated and pushed over and over again through movies, through television shows? It's like mainstream media is just capitalizing on this division and on this separation and on this prejudice. Year after year, you have another movie that's reminding us of slavery and segregation and oppression. I mean, it's everywhere. Black against white, woman against man, homosexual against straight, Democrat against Republican, child against parents, left against right, up against down. It's division just everywhere. It is widespread all over the place. And now the latest, they're trying to play Jews against African Americans. What is really going on? Well, let me tell you, I spoke about this exact thing on a podcast I recently recorded with some of my brothers. Check it out. The Lord don't care about your skin color. This, this, is, this is just a container. You know what I mean? This is just an avatar. This is just the matrix. And when you leave here, you're going to leave this body. To even take pride in this is foolishness. To take pride in flesh is just to take pride in division. What's right. going on is satanic. I'll just, let's just call it what it is because the truth brings people together. And the truth is something that is held with God. The truth, the truth about what we are and who we are. You know, these are just bodies that we were given, but we're all made up of the same components. We all want the same thing. We're truly spiritual. Right, and so the only difference is either you are light, you are walking in righteousness, or you are Amen. Walking, you're walking in ignorance, you're walking in darkness. That's really the only two things that separate people, but that's not based on skin color. Mm. Now, God is a God of unity. God is a God of unity, and we know that God's word is the truth. So truth brings people together. Meanwhile, the opposite of that would be deception and lies, which would separate and divide people. So when you look in the book of Revelations 9, it talks about Abaddon, and this is a principality that ascends out of the bottomless pit, and Abaddon's job is to separate people. He causes division. His name speaks about a broken branch, removing people. It causing division, separating people, and we see it running rampant in the earth today. It don't matter. They're they trying to divide people for any way that they possibly can. Race, sex, gender, right. where you live, your political party, what you right. believe in, basketball team, football team. Right. It is insane what's going on. And that's Ooh. the reason why. You have to understand that Satan operates in division. Even in the Bible, we've seen if people came together, if they work together, there is nothing that they couldn't accomplish. Now, of course, that instance was people trying to do the wrong thing, but it gives us an example of the power that we will have in unity. And we can only be unified in the truth. Satan's scheme and power and plan is in separation keeping people divided. He can control people that way. He will isolate a group of people and place them against another group of people and remain in control over both of those people. Playing them against each other, we're focused on each other, we're fighting each other, and we're blind to the true enemy that is setting us against each other in the first place. We have to recognize who the true enemy is, and this enemy is after our soul. It doesn't matter what sex you are, what race you are, what your preference is, what political party you belong to. He is after our soul. And if we are confused on who this true enemy is, we can never begin to fight the correct fight.